Okay, so good evening everyone or good morning or I may say good afternoon. Um, I really don't know what time you are going to uh, read or see this uh, report of mine. By the way, before I will continue this discussion, my name is Mr. Vicente M. Tisay Jr., your BS in English 2 at Norso Chaton, uh, Philippines, of course. Okay, so I am being tasked uh, or we are. I, I am one of the uh, uh, reporter of Unit 3 which is the typology of learners learners with special needs or oh, and i am being tasked to report about the learners with learning disabilities okay so the objective of this report or um the objectives of this kind of presentation is uh, first of course describe the various types of learning that affects a person's ability to read write and calculation Next is to differentiate the different types of learning disabilities and of course is to provide an example of the finest technique learning uh, for the learning environment for students with uh, learning disabilities. So before I will go through with my uh, specific topic, today I will just give a general overview of what learning disabilities are and what are uh, are not. Okay, so now there seems to be a lot of confusion about what learning disabilities really are. And so my goal today, so my goal today is really to help clear some of those things up. And actually guys, uh, uh, when, I, uh, when I made this report, it also makes my mind really uh, untangled from being tangled because I, I now know. Uh, in fact, I've decided to do a series of different types of learning disabilities where I will go into the, into more detail on each type. But today, we're just going to start with a brief overview of what they are and what they are not. Before I go into the details about what learning disabilities are, I would like to tell you what they are not so many people get learning disability confused with learning problems. Actually, there is a very big uh, differences when it comes to learning learning because learning disabilities is not really the result of a hearing or a vision problems uh, that's another term so those things can impact one's learnings yes but those things do not cause one to have a learning disabilities learning disabilities is not the result of autism learning disabilities is not the result of having intellectual disability what we formerly known as mental retardation Learning disabilities are not emotional dis disturbances, and learning disability is not a result of some type of disadvantage, whether it's culturally, whether it's economically, economically, or whether it's a child who has not had the opportunity to receive an education. Those things do not constitute one with learning disability. Federal regulations refers to learning disability as specific learning disability and it compromises or it compromise it comprises several different disorders that are individual and unique within themselves and i think that's the kind of where a lot of confusions come from actually while reading this or while making this report it really makes my mind really uh, confusing what we say if somebody has a specific learning disability What's that, what, does this, what does that mean? Well, let's go over the definition of what a specific learning disability really is. The Individuals with Disabilities on Education Act provides that specific learning disability means a disorder and one or more of the basic psychological processes in the imperfect ability to listen, speak, read, write, spell, or do mathematical calculation under of course the specific learning disability umbrella so what are really uh, learning disabilities so learning disabilities are problems that affects the brain ability to receive process analyze or store information these problems can make it uh, difficult or more difficult for a student to learn as quickly as someone who isn't affected or affected by learning disabilities Okay, so um, 
here's some concept of a learning disabilities way back in 2000. Strong converging evidence supports the validity of a specific learning disability or SLD. The evidence, uh, this evidence is particularly impressive because uh, it converges across different uh, indicators and methodologies. The central concept of SLD or the specific learning disabilities uh, is involves disorders of learning cognition that are intrinsic to the individual specific learning disability. These are also specific in the sense that these disorders are significantly, I'm sorry, affect a rel relatively narrow range of academic performance outcome. Okay, so here's some learning um, disabilities or the types of uh, learning disabilities. So when you, when you encounter a student with a reading disability, this often is referred to us as, of course, the first one is dyslexia. This only refers to a student uh, to read words. I'm sorry. Uh, this is often used to a student uh, with reading disability. This is often referred to as dyslexia. Only refers to a student's ability to read words, but to understand and comprehend comprehend words as well as the speed and the rate at which they read. In addition, dyslexia are the most common type of uh, language phase disorder found under the umbrella of specific learning disability. One in five students are dyslexic under the domain of writing. Uh, I really don't know, but based on research, yes, it does. We also have the number two, of course, uh, dysgraphia. And dysgraphia can mean any number of things that it could mean. It could mean the, um, the way they hold their pencils. Just like if you observe those, uh, the right or the perfect um, holding of pen is just like this. But most of the students are um, using or holding a pen just like this or they are uh, I don't know if it's clearly for you they, they use uh, the pencils or writing those pencils or you holding those pencils like anyone other, uh, any other does it could mean a person's disability to actually organize the, their thoughts no in order to actually put them on paper it has to do with a student's ability to do actually learn uh, to spell the words. So when we are talking about these things that fall in that writing category, this is actually called dysgraphia. Next one or the third one that I am being tasked to report is this, this, this calculia. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly or this calculia or this calculus as I used to like to call it. It actually, it is a disorder in math or learning a math, learning disability, and it too can mean any numbers of things. It could mean a student and the ability to count, someone who has issues with spaces and patterns, time counting, money measurement, but this, cal this calcula is math. Now, learning disabilities are also impacted by the way we process information. No? Uh, that is a listening, visual, uh, visual, even our ability to organize an auditory processing disorder. Actually, while, while writing this one, because I'm not really good at math, that's why I, I, I consider, I think I considered myself as a, having a dyscalcula person because I, I am really too weak at mathematics and I really don't know why I hate numbers. Uh, I just know how to count, add, multiply, and divide numbers. But when you say some uh, using some calculus or some, um, what they call this, uh, some, some things that uh, need some um, formula, it really makes myself so untangled. So uh, a processing disorder, so it involves a problem with learning or with learning disabilities or with a uh, problem with hearing and child's or person's inability to hear and make sense of the sounds that they heard. Whereas when we're talking about a language processing disorder, it's in an inability to process language. No, that's, that's the difference between them. Those students actually have a hard time understanding the spoken language 
or even reading and comprehending words. A visual processing disorder or visual perceptual is a hindrance. I'm sorry. Is a hindrance in the ability to actually make meaning from what uh, you take in through the eyes. And visual motor uh, deficit often has to do with coordination. Now, I have given you a very general brief overview of all disorders that fall under the specific learning um, category. So as you can see in the pictures, these are just other, these are the examples or for you to more understand those specific uh, learning disabilities. So uh, as you can see in the second picture, no, this is uh, uh, after the observation of a person having a dysgraphia. And of course, uh, this calculia uh, is more on about a mathematical. mathematical. So um, today, or uh, as of this moment, uh, I am now going to give you the nature and causes no? Nature and causes. So first is the heredity. Learning disabilities often run in the family. So children with learning disabilities likely to have parents or other relatives with difficulties. So it can be inherited by, from, from parents to parents or from parents to daughter or from parents to son. Okay, next is the problems during pregnancy and birth. So learning disabilities can result from ano anomalies in the developing brain, illness or injury, fetal exposure or to alcohol or drugs, no? low birth weight, um, oxygen deprivation or by premature or prolonged labor. And then of course the causes, nature and causes, one of the nature of, and causes is uh, accidents after birth. So learning uh, disabilities can also be caused by head injuries, malnutrition or by toxic Exposure, exposure such as heavy metals or um, inhaling pesticides. So it really can affect the child's. I'm sorry. It really can affect the child, no? So here are the signs and symptoms of learning disability. So from preschool, um, signs and symptoms of learning disability. So you, you must take note of this because I know that not now but sooner you will become a parent. So this is very important for us to, to, to know those possible signs and symptoms para mas maaga pa ng mas maaga. So problems are pronouncing words if your, your child or your daughter soon is having a problems with pronouncing words. So you must um, consult a doctor or consult an expert about it. The next is trouble uh, finding the right word. So you have to really check your child or uh, then, all, of course, difficulty in rhyming. Pero just a, 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 a quick uh, reminder that if you just have the single signs and symptoms of this, it, it doesn't um, need for you to really uh, go to the doctors and ask them if they have the learning um, disabilities because, uh, hala, very basic. Ra, so, um, you really have to uh, have a checklist just like this one uh, as you can see so you have to double really double check those things so we I also have prepared a signs and symptoms of learning disabilities um, let me quote so this is uh, uh, I get this one from the Google and I also have attached today a link and uh, in, in, the, in the, the last slide of this report. I'm so sorry for uh, nagging or uh, <laughs> using some fillers because I really can't um, uh, use this uh, language very uh, very good. No. So as you can see, you can uh, you can uh, take a screenshots or for you to uh, to better understand uh, what are the possible signs and symptoms of this learning disabilities. Of uh, of course. Uh, if there's a signs and symptoms, of course, um, avoidance is better than cure. On so, of course, you have uh, here's our tips on how you to handle learner learners who have learning disabilities. So first, you have of course to be um, keep things in perspective. A learning disability, it's not in some in, in, in mount the ball. So next is become your own expert. 
Uh, next is become an advocate of your own child. Uh, next is uh, remember that your uh, your influence outweighs all others or outweighs all, among all others. Focus on your strengths, not just your weaknesses. No, uh, recognizing a learning disorder. So by the way, or um, I am done with my report. Again, this is Mr. Vicente Milon Kisay Jr., your BS Ed English 2 at North Sushatan. Thanks and God bless.